Let's talk about logarithmic scale in Excel column charts. So when we say logarithmic scale, you might be wondering, what is it good for, right? So whenever we have a large numerical range of data, like over here, right? This is our data set for January to December. And then it's a very big range. So you can see over here that we have small values over here, less than 100,000. And then all of a sudden, there's a million over here. And then once we pull out a graph based on these values, you will most probably end with a skewed looking chart like this one on the right. You could see that this column over here is like a big long column and then the other ones, you cannot see much on what is the difference between each other, right? Because all of them would look really small as compared to your sales values in January. And this is where it really comes in handy for the logarithmic scale. So you can use this scale, the log scale, right? In the format axis later, which is what we will be doing to scale your chart by a base of 10. So when we say base of 10, what it will do is it will multiply the vertical axis units by 10. It will start at one and then followed by 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, 1 million, et cetera, right? So it will just keep on multiplying it by 10. And this scales the chart to show a more even spread which we'll be showing in our final output later, right? Okay, so let's get started. What we'll do is let's delete this to start from the beginning. Let's go to selecting the data over here, right? So make sure you have everything selected. Go to insert, recommended charts. Let's go to all charts and make sure that column is selected. Let's just go okay, right? And this is the chart over here that doesn't look so good at the moment because everything's really small that's not a January sales number right so what we will do right now is let's just right click on the vertical axis over here right just right click on it go format axis and you will see an option over here so let me just scroll down a bit there's going to be a logarithmic scale over here and then it's a base of 10 and that looks good on our end let's just go x and now you can see your chart is looking a lot better now because the numbers over here are multiples of 10 and the graph has adjusted accordingly. G'day, it's John Michalus here, the Chief Inspirational Officer and Founder at MyExcelOnline.com and I hope that you enjoyed this video that we just showed you. If you did, then give it a thumbs up. It just lets us know to create more of the same Excel videos for you so you can get better at Excel. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get new Excel videos each and every week. And finally, we want you to join our flagship online Excel course. It's called the My Excel Online Academy. And you get all of our Excel courses. You get our Excel beginner, intermediate, and advanced courses. We go through over 500 Excel videos which teach you formulas, macros, VBA, pivot tables, Power BI, Power Query, Power Pivot, charts, formatting, access, and much more because we add new videos each and every month. You also can download all our Excel workbooks and keep so you can practice and you also get a certificate of course completion. Plus, you're going to get six bonuses when you sign up to our academy course. You get our dedicated teacher support. You get access to all our Excel webinars. You get quarterly live Q&As. You can join our private Facebook group. You also join our private Excel forum. And we're also going to mail out to you an exclusive academy welcome pack. So if you want to get better at Excel and stand out from your peers and stand out from the crowd so you can get noticed by top management and receive the promotions and pay rises that you deserve, then click below in the description and join the My Excel Academy online course so you can get better at Excel today.